Hey, what is going on guys? Everything you pan here back with another video and it has been yet again another long time since I have uploaded my last video. I truly apologize for that as you know, I'm trying to get through school and this hasn't been my 100% top focus right at that very time and I'm wanting to keep doing this. Uh, so bear with me guys. I know my scheduling and video making has been very, very erratic lately and I'm hoping to fix that. I want to fix that so I can have time to make videos and stuff. Um, so today uh, we're going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows NT 5.0 build 1585 in VirtualBox. And this is a pre-beta build of Windows NT 5.0 later to known as Windows 2000. So we're just going to go ahead and get straight into the tutorial. There's going to be uh, four links in the description. And the first link is going to be a link to VirtualBox, uh, the web page. And you can download that if you do not have it already. The second link is going to be a download link to WinRAR. So you would uh, go ahead and download that if you have not already had it. And then the third link is the MS-DOS 6.22 ISO. You're going to need this in order to install NT 5.0 and uh, the fourth link is going to be a ISO of Windows NT 5.0 will be 1585 excuse me and so those are all going to be down in the description for you and you guys did notice that I re did uh, rename all of my uh, titles of my videos um, just a little change I'm trying there um, so I mean, they're still the same kind of videos, just different titles. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this installation here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove this old machine that I was testing out with here. So what you're going to want to do is create a new machine, and we're going to call this Windows NT 5.0 Build 1585. Go ahead and leave the version as Windows NT 4 and click Next. Leave the video, or not video, the RAM at 128 megabytes and click next and then we're going to create our own virtual hard disk and click next click next one more time and then click create to create the default uh, two gigabyte hard drive and then after that is done we're going to go ahead and go to settings and go to storage and then we're going to hit this empty disk and you're going to go ahead and browse for the ms-dos 6.22 iso um, once again that is linked in the description to download that if you do not have that already and once you have that inserted, go ahead and start your virtual machine. And I'm also going to be putting a bio state down in the description of this video as well, um, because you are de you are going to need the bio state for this in order to work, because it's not going to work if you're in the year 2017. You're going to need the one from the year that it was made, which was 1997. So, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to enter in that bio state, and we're going to do that by typing in the command date, click enter, and it'll say that the current date is uh, December 22nd of 2017, it's actually the 23rd on the day of this video, and we're going to type in 07-14-1997, so that would be um, July 14th, 1997 that we need to enter in. Go ahead and click enter and that will uh, set the date to that uh, current or that one that you entered in and now what you need to do is you need to do uh, make a new DOS partition and formatting your hard drive in order for this to work so what we're gonna do is type in the fdisk command leave the choice at number one to create a DOS partition we're gonna go ahead and create a primary DOS partition click enter and then leave the one as Y click enter and then click any key to reboot MS DOS and now MS-DOS is going to reboot and now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, type format C colon click enter it's going to um, uh, ask for confirmation to proceed type Y click enter it's going to format it and click enter one more time if you do not want to enter in a volume label and that part is completed now what you want to do is you want to right click on this disk down here and you're going to want to browse for your uh, Windows NT 5.0 ISO. That is going to be located um, 
oh, I believe in your downloads folder or wherever you saved it. Um, just kind of depends on where you saved it to. Mine's all the way in my directory of operating systems here. So we're going to go ahead and open that. And then what you're going to want to do in here is uh, if you see at the top, um, it says that the drive letter is drive letter number R, or not number, letter R. And so if that's the same for you, that's good. If it's a different letter, then you're going to use a different letter for this. So just type in your specified letter. It should be R. So type in R colon, then type in dir to find the directory. And then there should be two items in there. You want to type in CD i386 to go into the i386 directory and if you type in dir a ton of files should come up here so that means you are in the correct directory and what you're going to want to type in here is win nt backslash b and that's the command you're going to want to type in click enter and then it's going to come up with this blue screen here go ahead and click enter to continue it's going to copy files to your hard disk and if it's unable to copy this file don't worry just hit the escape key and then click X and it's going to just skip that file and that is the only time that that comes up for that to happen so now it's going to just copy over all these setup files for you here and um, so it's going to do that and uh, this process will not take very long so I'm gonna let that run real quick I'm gonna pause this for you guys and I'll be right back once we are hitting our next first restart point Alright guys, so we are now done with that portion of the setup, so we're going to go ahead and click enter to um, reboot, and it's now going to load up, and it may take a little bit for it to load, um, it's just trying to get all the files ready to go, and then you're going to be good with the first part of the setup here, so, um, yeah, so, um, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded and like I said I'm gonna try and get hopefully a schedule rolling here of uploading uh, as often as I can and uh, I know that's like gonna be tough on people uh, or just tough on the viewers that they've been you know it's been a while since I've uploaded a couple times and uh, so I'm trying to not have that happen as much but um, yeah so Christmas is coming upon us, and hopefully you guys will have a very good holiday. Um, there's going to be a video uploaded on Christmas, so I will be um, uploading a video then, hopefully. Um, so uh, if you do get that error coming up on the first time there, um, just eject the disk because it's trying to boot from the disk, and you can't do that right off the bat, so you need to eject the disk. And then it should pop up with the setup here instead of giving you that error screen. So you just reset your machine after ejecting that disk, and then you're good to go. So we're at the welcome to setup screen. Go ahead and click enter to continue. Click enter another time, and it's going to go to the license agreement. Just hold page down, uh, the page down button on your keyboard to pass all those pages. And then click F8 to agree to the terms. And then go ahead and click enter to select enter to install on this and we're going to convert this to an NTFS uh, file system hard drive and then go and click C to convert that and then we're going to click enter to install in the Windows uh, directory and click enter to confirm the uh, operation so it's going to very quickly copy the files go ahead and hit enter to restart again and now it is going to come into the um, GUI interface um, it's going to automatically boot into the setup again, and I do not believe you need that ISO again. I think that's the last time you would, you know, I think it's the only time you would need it, just when that one time in the beginning. So, um, just wait a little bit here. It's going to take a little bit for it to load up into the operating system. And those of you that are also on this channel that are um, more of a fan of VMware rather than VirtualBox. Yes, I'm going to be uploading VMware tutorials too. I don't forget about my VMware viewers that are there. I know there's not as many, um, but we are. I'm going to be doing more of those kinds of videos. So it's going to do a check here. You can skip that if you'd like. And then it's just going to convert the file system. And then it's going to reboot. And then after it reboots it's going to go into this screen here and then it will load you up into the um, operating systems 
GUI interface of the setup here. So this is the final parts of the setup that it's going to be doing here. And uh, this is actually taking a little longer than I expected. I didn't think it was going to take this long, but um, I guess I was hoping this video would be 10 minutes or under. But I guess not. It's going to be about 15 minutes. But that's okay. Um, some of these do take a little bit of time to uh, set up. And it's been a while since I've done a tutorial, so I'm probably a little rusty when it comes to all these. So it's now going to install your plug and play devices here in the setup. And now it's going to welcome you to the rest of the setup. So we're going to click next to get going on this. And it's going to automatically install some devices for you. So click next to confirm on that. And then leave this at typical. Um, I mean, you can change it to custom or compact if you like. And then uh, this is more than likely won't be installing it on a portable computer. Um, but you can if you'd like. Select it. And uh, so just leave it at typical and click next. And then choose your keyboard layout and your uh, location. Click next. It's going to ask you to type in a name. You do need to type in a name in order to bypass this screen. I'm just going to type in everything EPAN. Go ahead and click next. And then it's going to ask you to choose a computer name. So we're just going to call this NT1585. Click next. And it's going to ask for a password. You can bypass this if you'd like. And then do not create an emergency repair disk. Go ahead and click next. And then um, it's going to give you some options to install here. Go ahead and just click next. And then click next to uh, initialize the networking part of the setup here. And it's um, you can do do not connect to a network at this time, or you can connect to it if you'd like. It's just going to share your internet connection if you do it this way. So just click next on this, then click start search. It should automatically find your adapter. Click next, and then you go to TCP IP protocol. Click next, and then click next to select the installed components. It's going to pop up at this little window here um, for some users. And so what you want to do is click continue, click yes, and then it's going to do this, and then click next to start the network. And then it's going to confirm on this next uh, window here your member settings. So just leave it on work group and click next, and then click finish, and it's going to now finish with the setup, and then it's going to reboot one more time after you select your time zone here and um, then you'll be good to go after selecting your time zone and clicking OK on the video settings it's going to do a little bit more of the setup here and copying over some files and then next it will pop up with a window that says that it has been successfully installed so now what you want to do is go ahead and restart the computer. And when you click on restart computer, uh, it should automatically reboot for you. And then you can go ahead and click enter to confirm to boot into NT 5.0. And it's going to load up on this blue screen again for a little bit. And then it will eventually load you in to the logon screen of this. It does take a little bit of time, as I said in uh, the past parts of this, uh, since it is an older operating system. Um, but now it's going to load you up into the logon screen. You see the Windows NT 5.0 um, pre beta and beta 1 uh, boot screen there. So now what you want to go ahead and do is um, go back to your main device here and go to uh, input, go to keyboard, and then insert control alt delete, and then click OK to log in. And there you go. You are now logged in and you have successfully installed Windows NT 5.0 build 1585 in VirtualBox. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Um, there's definitely um, going to be some videos here in the future more tutorials and stuff like that for you guys um i'm hoping to upload a video on christmas whether or not it's going to be a tutorial or just kind of a merry christmas video i'm not quite sure what i'm doing here yet um but there's definitely going to be a video on christmas for you guys so that'll be kind of a special video um for christmas so um if you thought that this tutorial helped you out or if this worked for you leave a like on the video 
Um, if you guys are having any sort of issues with any of these tutorials, make sure to comment down below and I will try and help you as best I can. I do, um, I do read most of your comments. Uh, I don't reply to some of them either because um, I'm not like understanding 100% what you're saying and like, I mean, I should reply and say uh, something, but um, it just kind of depends. Um, I do read most of the comments. I do not reply to all of them. Um, I only reply to a few or some of them uh, when I can. So, uh, but comment your uh, ideas as well for future videos down below. And do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So, um, I want to thank you guys for over 5,000 subs. Um, that really is just amazing how I've reached 5K already. And I'm hoping to reach 10K here um, in the coming months. Um, but we'll kind of just see how this goes. And uh, if it goes well, then um, hopefully we can hit that soon. So once again, subscribe if you guys have not done so already. And that is the end of the video. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.